What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Sorry about the quality. I forgot my camera, so I have to film this on my iPhone. But this is about that rental property that I got a while ago. It was actually my last video on this channel. Um, and it's just to update you guys. Instead of turning it into a rental property, I thought I could make a little bit more money on Airbnb and I was very right. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys it in person and then we'll hop on the computer and I'll show you guys all the details and stuff like that. I actually start off over here um, near the entrance. I have this electric lock quickie set. This is how people get in and out of the house. That way I don't have to give them physical keys. But if this for whatever reason just is giving them issues, um, I can unlock it from my phone or lead them to the uh, physical keys, which I have in a lock box near the house. So this is the entrance right here. You have all of this, um, you know, Phoenix, Arizona keys coat hanger and stuff like that bedroom one is over here and i actually furnished this home all by myself i designed it and everything i just stole a bunch of ideas from pinterest <laughs> uh every room has a blanket in the closet so they can keep themselves warm at night we have all the tvs mounted uh this is one of the restrooms this house has a total of three restrooms it's a four bed three bath house um that's me this is one of the sinks so we just finished cleaning it um, this is the second bedroom. We have a computer over there and tip you guys if you ever get an Airbnb dude I wouldn't really like worry too much about a computer because I noticed that not many people use it dude, Which is crazy. because It's like custom built. It's very powerful and stuff like that. Uh, this is another um, Bathroom again. We have little plants and stuff like that um, Soap, you know q-tips and then underneath every sink we have some more toilet paper and extra towels uh, over here we have a the laundry room which is actually from the last video <laughs> if you guys i still i still have these um so one thing i would recommend is if you guys ever get like um washing machines don't don't get samsung bro they suck so bad specifically this dryer i have to run it like two times just to get the things really really dry because it has an ai feature and it thinks it's smarter than me but it's not um over here we have a bunk bed one's a full bed down here and then that's a full size twin or a king size twin whatever there's like two different twin sizes and it's the bigger one um we have uh, a couch over here piano and again like i said before every room has a closet with blankets so again tv mounted control right there and there's nothing in the drawers so this is something that i actually did want to mention um some of the doors have locks it's just it's this one so this is where the laundry room is right here we have this one locked and we have that one over there locked too uh, and that's for very very good reason here we have a lot of the blankets that we need that we need to swap out when the other ones get dirty so we come in here in between guests say these are dirty we take these and we grab those and put them there but sometimes it doesn't happen often but people literally just come and they grab these and they're not supposed to i mean they already have you know they have that they can just cover themselves with that and if that's not enough they have actual blankets in the closet i don't know why they're grabbing these so we put a lock that way we don't have to freaking be here and wait for them to get washed in the wash in the washing machine usually we just take them home and wash them at home so um this is why that is why this is locked a lot of blankets in here for the beds this one's actually just empty uh just filters air just they're, they're all it's literal fil filters we have air filters for the for the house and then we have a hot tub filter oh i cannot wait to show you guys the backyard dude it looks way different from when you guys last saw it and this is the other door that's um locked this is just cleaning supplies people don't need access to this you know they do have like wipes over there in the kitchen and stuff like that that i'll show you guys you know and there's a vacuum and extra one over there in the living room um so this is just just for us you know we have to clean the bathroom stainless steel wipes windex all sorts of things so you guys saw the three bedrooms down there this is the main part of the house we have the kitchen over here um i think i might have spent and again i'll go over this in uh in the spreadsheets i think i might have spent around 20k maybe 25k furnishing the whole home um everything's bought cash so nothing is um, finance other than the house itself. Uh, this is the living room. Uh, something that really stands, that helps us stand out. Let me wipe the camera. It looks a little foggy. Something that really helps us stand out um, in terms of Airbnb and why I think it does so good is it has a PS5 and an Oculus. So I feel like that's very attractive if the people have kids or something like that. Huge TV. Every screen, every room has a very, very big TV. It's all, they're each 4K and they're not that expensive, dude. TVs have gone down in value a lot. So I recommend getting one for every room if you guys have an Airbnb. Um, the couch, again, you guys, I would not buy any furniture on Amazon, dude. Um, almost everything in here is Amazon, and, you know, I learned my lesson. I just, I don't like the quality. This couch, it looks really cool, and I got it fairly cheap, but this little area right here, dude, it, like, sinks down a little bit, and it bothers me so, so much, man. I even put, like, these little 
that little thing to help it. It's like specifically made for couches that are kind of um, sinking in a little bit and it just gives it extra support. So that kind of helps, but it still bothers me. Next time I get another house, I'm for sure gonna buy the furniture at an actual furniture place and not Amazon. Um, this is the kitchen, quick little tour. I installed these little lights under here. I think it looks amazing. You can just turn it off with the switch of a button. We have the pantry. So, I mean, yeah, dude, I mean, compared to the last video, look at the last video when I first got this house, you guys, how different it was. All of this was empty, man. Um, oh, let me actually show you guys some of the cups too. We have all sorts of cups, you know, just regular little acrylic cups i think i don't know what type of cups they are um we have mugs up there we have more fancier plates over here and most of these i got on amazon some at costco uh and then we have actual glass stuff and some people recommended to me that i get like wine glasses which i didn't know um i would need but it turns out a lot of people use them so we have wine glasses there teas and coffee so uh dishwasher which i don't really like to be honest i don't feel like it cleans that well and this is the master bedroom remember when this was empty you guys oh that's so crazy man um yeah so we just got a bed in here nightstands little wall art this is the master bedroom some girls left their iron here and it kind of burned so that really sucks. I, that's like the first person I ever gave like a bad review to um, because of that. The whole house was so messy. Oh my gosh. And then we have um, this right here. I got this specifically to prevent this and I don't put it in the drawer or anything. I literally leave it right here so they can see it and hopefully they use it. Um, yeah. So this is the master bedroom. We have an extra mattress here. It was originally rolled up, but somebody opened it and they texted me. They were like, hey, dude, um, I, we got that mattress. Uh, we opened it. We hope you don't mind. And we're like, I can't say no now, bro. Like, it's already open. <laughs> it was originally rolled up and um, it was like a quarter of the size because it was like vacuum sealed. But I mean, I guess eventually we were going to have to open it. So, you know, we just put it in there for now. A lot of towels in here. Now I'm going to show you guys the backyard. And, and again, you guys, this is like very random. Like I needed to make a video on airbnb because it's been fully booked dude and today's one of the days where very rarely i don't have a guest coming right after this cleaning like somebody just left a couple of hours ago uh this is the backyard and then over here you guys will also see my mom the hola ma <laughs> she's the one that helps me clean um yeah so this is the backyard again i don't know if you guys remember it was all dirt before um we have a hose here dude very small thing dude but i feel like it's worth mentioning if you guys ever buy a hose get like contractor grade i feel like it's a certain brand i want to say it's goodyear they, they have like a black hose and it is so thick dude because this one sucks it like gets bent and uh i hate it it's not thick enough um so yeah we have rocks everywhere originally this was all dirt they laid um like fabric underneath so weeds don't grow but every so often you see a little weed every here and there we have plants all around um, with an irrigation system. So there's like a, a water line running all around um, the backyard. And I can control it with a timer in the uh, near the front yard. Uh, over here is the hot tub. We have, um, here we have artificial grass. Uh, you know, this I got natural furniture stores, thank goodness, because who knows if I got it on Amazon, dude. Um, I also installed these little, oh, dude, this is like such a big deal. If you guys, if you guys have the funds, like for sure get these little lights. They're like, oh, you could get like an eight pack for like maybe 60 bucks on Amazon. It lights up at night and it looks so, so beautiful. You can, I just installed them all over the backyard. And then this is the hot tub. We have pavers underneath here. And yeah, this is it. And then right here we have, you know, a vacuum, a little net, chlorine, shock, all sorts of things to maintain the hot tub. Every time I come here, all I do is just sprinkle a little bit of shock, chlorine, and that's that's it. This is it right now. It's starting to get really hot in Arizona though. So it's like 80, almost, oh, it's 81 degrees right now. So I don't think that many people will use it, but to my surprise, as of this month, a lot of people have been using it. But to get it installed, dude, it cost me like two grand just to get it installed. Like we had to run wiring from all the way to the main panel, which is back there. So we ran it through the gate underneath the house and there's a little box for it right there and then we had to put it underground and it goes all the way over here to give power to the hot tub okay so now we are on the computer and this right here are actually all the pictures that i have taken of the house um airbnb actually makes it very easy for you so when you list the property they literally just send a photographer like you go through their website and they'll be like oh, okay we'll take care of you you know um the photographer's gonna be here at this time and you know and they're gonna take some pictures so these are the pictures that they took um you can see very 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 nice i'm i'm very happy uh it does look a little bit different the reason i walked you guys through the house before and now i'm showing you guys you know on the computer and stuff because a few things have changed nothing too crazy like i just added um new things you know maybe i i like for example right here i got rid of those pictures and i added the little gold ones that you guys saw um you know different bread sheets bread sheets different bed sheets and uh lamps and stuff like that so that's kind of something that has changed but other than that 
it's um here right here we have a different so right here actually we have a different rug in this room we have that really bright orange one that you guys saw um but other than that everything in this house is you know, it's pretty much the same as it is in the uh in the picture so let's just go ahead and jump into all the revenue so this right here is for january 2023 this is when i really started to kind of figure out how airbnb works and i adjusted my prices accordingly because in december and stuff like that i had it maybe like prior to january like uh, maybe like three months um i had the price very low and i was either losing money or breaking even but then in january i really adjusted my prices and started figuring out how to you know get bookings january i made four thousand and sixty three dollars um february was a better month we actually had the super bowl um here and it was like 20 minutes away from the house maybe 15 uh and we made five thousand seven hundred uh forty five dollars that month and surprisingly even though the super bowl wasn't in february and we got like a booking for like and they paid like over i think it might have been like two or three grand for like three days um in March, we made even more, which is crazy. I, I don't know what the heck just happened here. It's just uh, March, we almost had like a 100% uh, booking rate. Oh, you can see right here, actually. Occupancy rate, 94%. And the only reason it's not 100 was because one day I had to block it off for whatever reason. I forget why. I had to block off a day. And then other days, you just, you can't book it because it's like a three-night minimum. So it was just kind of an awkward day in between two bookings. And it didn't allow for the three-night minimum. Um, So that's why it's not at 100%. But 94%. It's really, really good. Uh, and you can see here that my nightly price, you guys, is $150 through $190. It's really just $190. Um, this $150 comes from days that I individually price. So if I know there's two bookings, you know, one in the beginning of the week and one at the end of the week, it's less likely somebody will book it in the middle. So I lower that price to just kind of incentivize people to kind of, you know, book it. April, I'm really hoping will be March. I'm not too sure. Uh, the reason it's kind of, you can see here that it's a little lower. We've already been paid out 1800. Uh, we're at three grand for the month. Uh, just yesterday, I think somebody canceled on me and they had like a whole, they had like a week booking in April and they canceled. So I'm really hoping somebody will pick that up because we have like another week till then. So I'm fairly confident somebody will. So I'm expecting for this to jump up. Now let's jump into the cost and everything because those numbers that you guys saw like the um the six thousand made in march that's not profit bro like i gotta pay the mortgage and all these bills and the cleaning uh so year in so in january right we made four thousand dollars um i ended up paying two grand for the mortgage hoa was 72 dollars you can see everything under here is essentially just going to be bills um minus the cleaning that just depends it's a month per month thing you know uh it's just a month per month thing you know, every month for cleaning can be, you know, very different. You can see here I spent 150 bucks, 500, 800. Uh, the reason January cleaning was so low, I had this guest. God bless them, dude. They're my favorite guests ever. They stayed for like close to um, a month. Um, so we only had to clean literally, you know, one, maybe, uh, one, maybe two times. So to summarize January, we made um, $1,325 profit. Um, that's after, you know, subtracting all the costs, uh, in February, a little bit better. We made 2,600 profit, right? Cause I had to pay over $3,000 just to, just to run the house, but we made close to six grand that month. Um, cleaning was 500, uh, for cleaning. I just use my mom and sometimes my sister, she just got a job. So usually I just, I go with my mom and it's a hundred dollars per cleaning. So I just give that, you know, to them every cleaning and you know, it's a little, 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 it's a nice little side job for them. In March, you know, all the bills are relatively the same minus the cleaning. We spent $800 and that tells me that we had eight different guests. Uh, and again, cost for March was 3,435 and the Airbnb income was 6,369, which gives us a grand total of really close to three grand profit. Um, April, I'm not sure. Hopefully we get at least two grand profit. You know, that's that's the goal, man. I think it's very, very possible. But yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for this video. You guys, I just wanted to show you guys the costs and things like that. So if you guys want to see more videos about the Airbnb, I can make so many. It's just that this video is already going long enough. I for sure want to get another one. It's just that interest rates are super, super high right now. They're like at 6%. And I've been looking at houses like I have money set aside and everything. It's just tough, man, with interest rates like where they're at. I run the numbers. I'm like, okay, if I put this much down, and Airbnbs in the area or you know about this much filled up I can expect this much income and it's just that interest rate really takes away a lot of the profit and it's it's makes it risky you know uh anyways you guys that's gonna be it if you guys want to see more videos like this uh tell me down below if you guys have any questions literally dude I usually answer all the questions on this channel um you know just let me know uh, if it's Airbnb related I'm not an expert or anything like that but you know I kind of have an idea of how it works so I'll try my best to answer